John, you said in your AFL-CIO survey that you supported the elimination of the secret ballot and union organizing the elections. Why don't you think that American workers deserve the same right to a private ballot that all other Americans do when they go into the voting booth? I think um, Americans do, I mean, I think workers do deserve that private ballot. It's my understanding, did you make a mistake then when you filled out the questionnaire to the AFL-CIO? Because on that questionnaire, you said that you supported uh, not having a secret ballot. Again, I don't have the questionnaire in front of me, but I, I think a secret ballot is appropriate. Oh, I'm going to take the full two minutes there to answer, okay. and, and then we'll do this one. Just a while, so I can keep my head on straight. How's that? <laughs> so, you know, the question is generally about uh, workers' rights to organize, which I fully support a workers' right to organize, and I think workers should organize. And I support union rights. I've been endorsed by many unions, and I think workers have the right to organize. I come from a union family. My father's been in electoral union for 56 years. That union gave me a scholarship to go to college. But for the generosity of that union, I still remember standing up in the union hall in Jersey City, New Jersey, and uh, every year thanking the, uh, the, the men, it was just men at the time, in Local 164 for the scholarship that allowed me to go to college. So I care very deeply. It's not just an economic issue, but for me it's a personal issue. So I support a worker's right to organize fully and completely, and I do not think Maryland should be a right to work state. I'm glad to tell you you would not have voted with the Democrat majority because they voted overwhelmingly to, uh, to, to deny this right. When you poll the American people and you ask them, do you think that in organizing whether you're going to be a union or not, you ought to have a secret ballot? Wow, you know, that's way, way up there. It's 80 or more percent of the people saying, yes, of course you'd have a secret ballot. And I'm glad that you would not have voted with the majority on your side of the aisle. As I've said from the beginning, I'm independent-minded. 